In this video, we'll talk about strategic execution part one. Strategy execution is much like going on a trip towards a planned destination. Time for another example. Consider going on a weekend trip, but first you need to make some arrangements. You need to decide on a destination, check the weather and road conditions, estimate travel time, and decide how many stops you may need to make on the way. Then there are the unexpected consequences to consider, such as road work, detours, and others that may delay you getting to your destination. Once you reach your destination, you will have successfully executed all the planning into delivering results. Earlier on, we touched on the different steps of strategy to execution with a promise of more details to follow. Now we'll look at the topic in a little more detail explaining the step-by-step -step process. A successful strategy to execution process provides a structured approach to clarifying, communicating, implementing, and managing strategy. The goal of the entire process is to make sure that you know where you are so you can determine where you need to go. This gives you a baseline to work from. The first part of strategy execution deals with all the steps that go into setting up the stage for taking action. 1. Strategy Planning the journey of any successful execution begins with strategy planning. This component is important as it comes before taking any action. This planning component needs to consider all issues, ranging from the big and small steps the company needs to take to get to its goals, the framework they will use to keep it on track along with the structure for strategy reporting and the frequency of strategy meetings. If you look at it historically, Corporate history is littered with businesses that experienced immense growth stalls only because they followed strategies built on wrong assumptions or a need of clarity. The goal of successful strategic planning is to come up with a strategy that defines clear goals while staying away from misaligned or ambiguous ones. For personal goals, you still need to plan ahead, but perhaps in a different way. Say you'd like to volunteer more in the upcoming year. This will require you to schedule the days and hours you'd like to donate, the type of volunteer work you're interested in, and any traveling to and from the location. You need to plan this out in advance so it does not clash with your regular work-life balance and create a scenario where you're left feeling overwhelmed and unable to continue with your commitment. 2. Set clear goals. This stems directly from strategic planning, where not having clear-cut goals will make execution run amok. Whether you're an individual working for achieving personal goals or a business striving for successful expansion, your goals need to be defined clearly. For instance, your goal may be as basic as learning a new language, where you may want to appreciate cultural diversity or give yourself a competitive edge in career choices. You may want to do so as foreign languages open up the door to art, music, dance, fashion, and cuisine. If any of those are your forte, or you may simply want to improve your communication skills. Whatever the reason, you need to have a goal in sight to work towards. Once you have the goal established, you can then get to work achieving it, which is all execution. Likewise, in the business world, goal setting helps you organize your thoughts about what you want to achieve and allows you to come up with concrete steps that will help you get there. When you're clear on where you're going, it's a lot easier to make things happen. Having a goal is also motivating as you have a built-in finish line to work towards and you can celebrate when you reach it. When talking about goals, whether personal or otherwise, these goals should be supportive of the overall strategy. For team members, they should be tangible so that everyone involved gets a sense of progression as they move along with the plan. Outlined goals should also be specific, measurable, attainable, and realistic while being timely. Working with clear-cut goals can also be beneficial in the sense that it can help weed out issues such as whether or not your plan is realistic with regards to any resource constraints. It also helps an organization establish whether they have the right individuals and skill set to execute the plan and also gives an idea of how well employees may have understood the company's overarching objectives. As such goals become the basis of your ongoing tracking, reporting, and performance management, every one of which is crucial in the implementation of successful execution. Any goal that creates conflict or challenges resources will limit the execution success. Communication. 
The manner in which businesses communicate and involve employees in latest strategies is crucial for promoting implementation. Statistics reveal that an approximate 65% of employees do not get their roles when different initiatives are introduced. The absence of an effective communication strategy can not only lower motivation, but also spark a resistance to change. Together, these factors can lead to inefficiencies in the system and raise the cost of execution. Without communication, team players can lose touch with the company's objectives and goals. Over time, both employee and entrepreneur may drift off course. To make sure that all departments stay in tune with the entrepreneur's vision and strategy, the team should gather frequently for different updates. Ideally, communication should start as early as the strategic planning itself. In fact, it should be a parallel to the process of planning. The communication component needs to be two-way in the sense that you should be getting feedback about your strategy, not only in the beginning, but also as it unfolds. There are quite a few different ways that you can facilitate this communication. For instance, regular meetings are one way to go. Operational groups could gather for a daily huddle at the start of the day to make sure everyone is on the same page and updated. Executive meetings between key management personnel may be conducted regularly to assess the progress of the strategy implementation. Interestingly enough, meetings can quickly disclose whether an organization has a strong culture of execution or not. For instance, if a meeting consists of a long presentation while other attendees sit quietly, unwilling to raise questions, knowing that their own presentation will follow soon, then there's a cause for concern. This scenario depicts an organization without a culture of execution and a place where even the best strategy may fail. On the other hand, if a presentation is short and to the point with active participation by everyone present, with questions being answered and a common understanding that everyone is working on the same goals and timeline, then this team is on the path to successful execution. It's often very easy to fall into the trap of doing a great job of communicating at the start, only to see people go back to business as usual. This is why planning communication ahead of time is important because it keeps the momentum up. At the same time, it's also important to engage key employees with targeted communication to win their support for the strategy. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.